Well, I'm here at the uh, courthouse, and uh, this is where Omar Bradley's trial is happening. And uh, it's pretty much proven that this trial that Omar Bradley has right now traces all the way back to the Compton Police Department that referred this case to the district attorney's office, and they've been pursuing him for 17 years. Omar Bradley was convicted. He went to prison for three years. He got out of prison. The conviction was overturned on appeal, and they came after him again, and they charged him with the same crimes, different variation of it. So in effect, Omar Bradley has had his double jeopardy rights uh, violated by the district attorney's office and by the justice system. And so this is an important story. And Amar Bradley is the one that went after and shut down the Compton Police Department for corruption. And they had a chance at that time. He referred it to the district attorney. And instead of pursuing Reggie Wright Jr., Reggie Wright Sr. for drug violations and for the, the weapons and all that stuff that flowed through the corrupt Compton Police Department, they went after Omar Bradley instead of actually listening to what he had to say and going after the corruption. And Eric Paradin was in the DA's office at the time, and then he became the mayor of Compton. And there's all kinds of shenanigans that never were prosecuted by the DA's office because they would never go after Eric Paradin, one of their own. So it, it just shows there is no such thing as justice for all in America. It's justice for people who have money. And this is a business just like any other business. And so it's about the attorneys making bank. It's about the, the entire system making bank. It's not about justice. There is no such thing as justice for all in America. In this hotel room, they have food every day. And I'm knocking the door every day. And they tell me, they open the door, let me see the party. Let me see, like, they throwing salami all over. I mean, it's like throwing food around. But they tell me there's no food here. You know what I'm saying? Every day. I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in. You know what I'm saying? We are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. After about a week, that song is going to change. We hungry, we need some food. After two, three weeks, it's like, you know, give me a little food and we're breaking out the door. And after a year, you just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm picking the lock, coming through the door, blasting. You know what I'm saying? It's like you hungry, you reached your level. You know what? What we asked 10 years ago, we was asking.